My name is Gabriela Alvarez and this is my VIP speech. So friendship has always been one of the scariest things for me. Um, all of my friendships in the past have always ended with just us being complete strangers and it's just something that I've never really liked to like have to go out and like introduce myself to new people and then we get super close and then we just stop talking. It's always just been something that just makes me upset. So having to go through something like that and then act like nothing has happened is very upsetting. So for a while now, I haven't had many friendships until I met Madeline, who is actually my best friend and has just changed my point of view on how friendship really is. So it was the first Sunday of the month in August of 2021. And me and my mom, we were preparing our usual church lunches on Sundays on the first Sunday of the month. And me and her were in the fellowship hall and we were watching my dad's live stream on our phones. So we like we knew like, okay, we have this much time left and we gotta get this done, this done, prepared. Everything was, we were rushing. We just wanted to make sure everything was done. So once we saw that people were getting out of service and that it was everybody was ready to go everybody was walking in the fellowship hall we were rushing 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 we wanted to make sure we were we weren't stressed because church lunches are usually very stressful for us <laughs> so whenever we were doing that it was time for us to do our usual prayer so once we were doing the prayer and it was done we had all the women and children go and usually around that time I like to eat last, so I will usually just go and talk to everybody, see how they're doing, what they learned, how like, how's this person, how's that person, you know, just casual conversation you would usually have with anybody. So after I was done talking to everybody, I went and got my food and eventually sat down with my friends at the table. And right when I was about to take my first bite, one of my friends tapped me on my shoulder and was like, hey, like, sorry to bother you, but like, I wanted to like introduce you to like one of my old friends that randomly showed up today and just introduced us so all of us that were at that table we all just got up and just introduced ourselves and we asked her if she wanted to come and sit with us and she did and it was so nice so once she sat down and we were all eating and talking we all just asked her like the normal questions like if she's new to christianity where she came from what she likes all all the normal things um i feel like especially being in a new church in a new environment and you don't know anybody, it's usually very intimidating to just like show up. And like, <laughs> I don't know, I've never liked it. It's always very awkward. So I always make an effort to talk to the new people, make sure that they do know, like I've been there, I know what it's like, like don't worry. So throughout the entire church lunch, we all just continue to talk to her and we invited her back next Sunday. So. We then, me and her, finally started to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation close to the end of the lunch. And in that moment, we exchanged phone numbers and we made sure that she was added into our young adults group chat that we usually have. So since that lunch, we continued to come and like talk to her and we all just really enjoy having her and our youth and our young adults group. It's so nice to have a new member. So that's what we did. And then a couple weeks after that church launch, actually, we were having a Top Golf event, I guess. Yeah, we were having like a Top Golf hangout event. And usually during those times, we like to just play a game. And then after that, we'll do like some sort of devotional. And then we'll usually just split after that. So that was the first time I actually really talked to Madeline for the first time. And it was actually really nice. I've enjoyed having a conversation with her and then towards the end of the event we actually decided to go out and go get ice cream after so we then started talking more about like personal things like her testimony where she's from all that stuff and it was so nice it was so weird i'm don't really have a lot of friends again so for me to have like a female woman to go and talk to is so nice but not only did it get personal but we were able to just laugh and like it was normal it felt like i've known her forever so so having to go and like laugh with someone so hard and you know madeline we we do a lot of bible studies together um we've actually gone to disney world a couple months ago together and we work out together we do so much now together and i like to tell madeline that she's my 
she's my gift from God. I've, I've never had a friendship like, like her. She's truly a reflection of God. It's like, I, I can just see Jesus written all over her. She's so kind, she's so gentle, she's so sweet. She's amazing. And I'm so blessed by her. She has impacted me in a way that is unbelievable. And our friendship is so beautiful. God really answered my prayers for so long. I've always prayed for a friendship like ours and thank the Lord for finally answering that. She has impacted my life in a way that no one will ever understand. So thank you, Jesus, so much for sweet friendships.